Once the hall's swept, it's over to the tavern. Otto was here earlier with a letter from Gav. He left it on your desk. What does Gav have to say? The Republican army is on the march, leaving Randallar in Hugo Kuka's charge. With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news, then. It's more than that. This is our chance, the one we've been waiting for. Look how far we've come. All that we have here, our friends, the hideaway, are they not cause for joy? Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted, we might have achieved so much more. But each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. It's merely trying to save you from yourself. And every burden I cannot bear falls to you. This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew. But one thing has become abundantly clear. The crystals take more than they give. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain. War after war, loss upon loss. Now? Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. And to me, that's no burden. I know, but... Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. He did. He was there. It wasn't an illusion. I heard him call out to Ultima. If Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that... that thing. Do you think he will ever come back? I know he will. And we must be ready when he does. the crystals to sit Thank you. 
and so the North is lost. I knew that the Blight spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. But this... This is far, far worse than any could have imagined. It is only a matter of time before the Twins are no more. Is ever closer to its end, and here we chase shadows. Tell me, brother, are our efforts in vain? Master Clive, a moment, if you. My apologies, I didn't mean to intrude. Not at all. Uh, we were just discussing strategy. Speak freely, Otto. It's Martha, from the inn. She's gone missing. Anyway, I'll be in the mess when you've finished. Very well. would make Martha leave the rest. Something has happened to Martha. We need to speak with Otto. Well, don't just stand there gawping. We well, won't hear me complaining. The only drawback... Still... I remember it like it was yesterday. <sighs> You're our leader now, Clive.
do we know, Otto? Some lads from the Imperial garrison in Rosaria started a fight over at Martha's Rest. Blood was spilled, bones were broken. The usual. But somewhere in the middle of it all, Martha vanished without a word to anyone. And that ain't like her, Clive. Something's not right. You think this was planned? Of course it bloody was. Ever since Eastpool, the Empire's been tightening its grip around the Duchy's balls. They've strung up everyone who's ever set eyes on a runaway, claiming they're traitors to the Holy Throne, conspiring to restore the House of Rosfield to power. I know it sounds like the bastards have turned their attentions to the poor bearers meek enough to stay put. Naturally, old Martha could see the way the wind was blowing, complained that it was getting harder and harder to take bearers in. And now she's missing. If she's fallen into the hands of the Empire, we could be next. A couple of curse breakers are already on their way to the inn. They should help speed up the search. But if this is as bad as I think it is, you might end up having to save their asses and all. Don't worry, Otto. I'll make sure everyone gets home safe. Open back, Sid. Damn blighted bilge. Is everything all right? Aside from the holes in my hull, everything's roses. The lake water doesn't agree with it, then. That's one way of putting it. And unless you got some grand scheme to suck the black from the lake like we do in the atrium, that slurry will keep eating away at the timber like young Tech does our lemon tarts. I suppose a coat of pitch might stave off the rock for a moon or so, assuming we had any pitch, which we don't. Not any bloody more. Doubt the old tub's got more than a dozen runs left in him. Of course, Obelus. Your skiff is our only means of reaching the mainland. Without it, we'd be lost. Well, I'm glad someone round here sees it that way. To make pitch, you need pitch trees. But in case you haven't noticed, live trees are one of the thousand things sorely lacking in the Deadlands. Now, I'm not so unkind as to ask you to fell a faraway forest and lug the logs back here to the mere. Which is why we'll be needing a suitable alternative. And it just so happens I once heard the thorny pitchers of Curltail Falls cover themselves in a sticky wax to trap birds and beetles and whatnot. Might be enough to tide me over. Sounds easier than felling a faraway forest, that's for certain.
easier than felling a forest, I said. The trees don't have teeth. <laughs> Imagine Obelis needing any more than this. Time to head home. What happened here? Come on. We need to find the others. We're best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. Let's get you to a physical, shall we? Sorry. Sid? What said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help. And it appears he was right. You, uh, could say that, yes. They're saying the Imperials descended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but... All our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. To the Abbey, sheltering Martha's bearers. The bastards. Jill and I will go after them. You take care of the people here. We will. But, um, before you go, one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about a culling. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. is right. That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. But to culling. Bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. Orson's touch an arrow on Martha's head. I'll kill him all myself. the Abbey who needs you. You have to do something. Tell us what happened. What happened? The damn black 
shields, that's what happened. The black shields? The bastards caught wind. The abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna hang us both. When the sick rose from their beds. Poor souls turned on the Imperius. Distracted them long enough for me to get away. Then... They may still be alive. Martha, do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. I think so. Thank you, Clive. Black shields. Is this some sort of twisted joke? There has only ever been one order of shields in Rosaria, and they fought to defend all her citizens. It seems a step too far, even for the Empire. Over here! Too late. There might still be someone inside. No. I thought you lot were all spent. Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. Ugh. That bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offence. And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these our swords we swear. How dare you speak those words? Have you no honor? Clive. This won't take long. Is that all of them? I think so.
I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive. Abbot. The bearers died protecting him, calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. Clive, he's breathing. Friends of Martha, we're here to help. Are the Imperials dead? They are. Every last one. If only that were true. <coughs> the Black Shields will return. The cullings will continue. Rosaria will never be safe unless we save her. Tell Martha to beg Sin's aid and tell her this wasn't her fault. I... I shall. Sid, where are you? Sid! In here. We found a survivor. Clive. He's gone. We've laid the abbot to rest, but the bearers, they didn't need to die like this. No, they didn't, but it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms, fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds, threw themselves at the Imperials so she and the abbot could escape. I've gathered the bearers' remains. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. Redux jump. The currents there are swift. If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust there himself and performed the casting. I'll get someone to... I'll do it. Of course. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. Spotted us, Torgal. What am I saying? Of course it has. It's a floating eyeball. Get him! 
See that coming? That must be the bridge. Better already. So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden, and bear it out to sea. And now they are truly free. I hope so. What of the Imperials? A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right.
best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. No one survived then. I'm sorry. Before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Doesn't mean I won't. Doesn't mean their blood's not on my hands. Cole said you cast their remains. And that was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? You couldn't have known. But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago. Of black-clad devils descending on villagers in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. But I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times you would have been right. What these black shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question, why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense of her actions. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them, preferably big ones. If those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people, they're in for a rude awakening. Oh, before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young curse breakers. To move. Oi! You there! Uh, you handy with that sword of yours? Of course you are. Bet you're a bloody marvel with the thing. Now, question is, are you willing to use it or not? Because a flock of noble chocobos are in need of help. Chocobos? You heard me right. Wild birds? Hmm? The big ones? And not just any chocobos at that. Whiteheart and her flock are the bravest birds you ever did see. They protect travelers round these parts from bandits and the like. Chocobos. Fighting bandits. It's true. Why, they saved me from a gang of footpads only yesterday. Nasty lot they were too. And now, they're back. Looking to settle the score. Go on, then. D don't just stand there. Go and help him. <sighs> All right. There's a good lad. Where can I find these chocobos? I saw him cut across the way over yonder. The rotten scoundrels were driving the poor things towards the old dock. It's a dead end, that is. You save Whiteheart and her flock, you hear me? There ain't a pluckier bird in all the world. She's a hero to us locals. And don't worry, you'll know her when you see her right enough. I'm sure I will. And good luck to you. I give those no good bastards a hiding from me.
A white feather. I thought Ambrosia was one of a kind. Speaking of brave birds. Looks like they went that way. These chocobos aren't going down without a fight. We got you cornered, Feathers. You didn't think you'd seen the last of us, did you? You've been bad for business. But I reckon someone will pay good coin to mount your head on their wall. Not around here, they won't. Oh. And why is that, eh? Because she's something of a hero in these parts. You hurt her, and I hurt you. Piss off. Or better still, how about we hurt you both? All right, then. But don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs>
safe now. White heart, I presume. Do you know her, boy? That's gone. of a flock. Oi! He, he is it over! I thought I'd come and see how you were getting on. Oh, well, you sorted the bastards then. I knew you would. <laughs> and the whole flock made it through unscathed. Thankfully they did. And not only that, I never stopped to think our hero here might once have been someone's mount. <laughs> Though I dare say she'd suit a fine fellow like yourself. Reckon our feathered friend must have learned a thing or two from her master. Kind-hearted warrior that you are. <laughs> Bird like her would have cost a princely sum. You born a lord or something? Well, I... Uh, <clears throat> Oh, no, sorry, sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to pry. Don't matter who you are, you done right by me. What is it, girl? She wants her master <laughs> back, I reckon. <laughs> Told you, and it seems her pals agree. Is that it? You want to come with me? Well, bugger me if this ain't a heartwarming sight. The lads down the stables will be hearing about this tonight. Oh, stay right where you are. Doesn't she cut an handsome figure, eh? She does indeed. How much do I owe you? Ah, a few scraps of leather's the very least I owe, old Whiteheart. Oh, I'll be sad to see her go, of course. But she's earned her right to happiness and more besides. Don't you worry, we'll get along just fine without her. 
You hear that, White Heart? You've earned yourself some time off. You have fun traveling with your master now. Hmm. You seem awful familiar now I get a proper look at you. That's it. When those chocobos swarmed my car on the road, didn't you? And... No. No, that can't be right. That fellow was a bearer. Must have been my double. Oh, must have been, eh? <laughs> oh, that'll be the excitement getting to me. Silly sod that I am. Pay me no mind. <laughs> Anyhow, let's be on my way. Good luck to the both of you. You take care of your flock for now. I'll call you when I need you. Where's Gav? 